Hi guys, I uh, hope everybody is keeping warm. Um, just check the temperature and in my backyard it is currently 28 degrees Celsius in the shade. Um, that does not include the humidity so um, everybody I hope you're keeping warm. Um, for this week's challenge we're going to cover some of the basic knots that are in the Scout Craft 2 and Scout Craft 3 uh, Outdoor Adventure Skills. Um, won't be covering all of them because a couple of them I do need to practice myself. Um, but you will need a stick or a chair leg or uh, something to tie one or two of these to. Um, we're going to start off with the reef knot. Um, as you can see, I'm using two different colors of rope, but you can use the same rope, um, but just for demonstration purposes, so you can see what the knot is supposed to look like when it's done. Um, I'll use two different ones. Um, the reef knot is used to join two pieces of rope together. Okay, so you take your left, your left, this is my left. Take it and put it over the right, so you have an X. Then you bring it down and back up. Now as you can see, the left rope is now on the right side. So you take the right over the left, make another X, but this time you take it and put it through the loop. You should have something like this when you're done. Okay, there's one side, there's the other side, okay, and it is a fairly good knot. Okay, and usually to take it apart, it's not going to work this time. Okay, um, we are also going to cover the clove hitch, which, if you remember, uh, the clove hitch is the knot that we start and end all of our lashings with. And to do the clove hitch, you take your stick, okay, take your rope, all the, okay, this is known as your working end, okay, the shorter end, all the way around, make an, on the second pass around, you make an X. So you should have something that looks like that. Okay, but try to keep a little loose. Okay, you bring it back around. Then you take your working end up through your X. Then you pull it tight. You should have something that looks like that when you're done. Okay, just Give it a tug. Okay, it's not really coming loose. Okay, but to loosen the knot, just take your ends, work them back and forth until you've loosened up your X. Voila. The half hitch. Again, take your stick and your rope. Go around, you take your working end behind, okay, so you form a loop, you bring your working end through the loop, pull it tight. You should have something that looks like that when you're done. Okay. Uh, we will also cover the round and two half hitches. Okay, so for your round, take your rope. All the way around the stick, around a second time. Okay. And you make your first half hitch. So again, bring the rope towards you, form a loop, bring your working in through the loop. Pull it tight. Then you do it again. So you bring your rope. And towards you, form a loop. Bring your working end through the loop. So there's something like that. 
And again, pull it tight. Okay, you should have something that looks like that when you're done. Um, <clears throat> in later videos, we will cover the other knots, like the Fisherman's, um, there's the figure eight, the bowline, and the trucker's hitch. Um, unfortunately, I had have to practice those knots myself. Um, so we'll cover those in a later video. The link for the Scoutcraft Outdoor Adventure Skills will be posted in the description below. Um, along with some picture references for the knots that we covered in this video. Take care guys.